Hey everybody and welcome on back into Call of the Wild where today I'm bringing you another one of the ultimate hunting guides making our way through all of the reserves and today we are going with Yukon Valley. We are going to go ahead and cover all of the animals that can be found on this reserve, their locations and also their hunting times before we go ahead and move on to the outpost locations, the guns that I run and then finally talking about the callers which if you guys have seen a couple of them you probably know by now I don't actually use any. If you find this video useful and it has some good information in it for you then please do go ahead and leave a like on the video and also if you are new around here please do go ahead and subscribe as over 95% of you guys aren't yet subscribed but without further ado let's go ahead and jump on into it. Now then Yukon Valley is an amazing map right along the American Canadian border where this map has seven amazing species of animals and uh, it's home to three of the top requested next great ones which are the grizzly bear, the moose and also the caribou. There are four other species as well which are going to be the harlequin duck, the red fox, the gray wolf and then finally we have the plains bison as well. Now in typical fashion we're gonna go ahead and do an animal per animal breakdown. Starting off with the harlequin ducks they are going to be an absolute fiend of a species that can be found right along this right hand river that you can see that covers the majority of the map. You guys will find an absolute ton of uh, harlequin ducks in there. Now, one thing that seems to be quite common amongst the duck species, or at least the bird species, that are water-bound is that they don't often tend to have any set need zone times. Um, the harlequin ducks, as far as I'm aware, can be found all throughout the day. However, each of their need zones may have a specific time to them. For example, this one here is a feeding zone, and it is from 9.30 till 12. A little bit further up, we have a resting zone, which is 7 till 9.30. And then this one over here is 9.30 till 12 as well. So I'm going to go ahead and say that if you guys want two times specifically to focus on, you're going to have 7 till 9.30 in the a.m. and then also from 9.30 until 12 as well. So there you go, two early morning need zones for you to go ahead and check out and hopefully you'll be able to get yourself a couple of Harlequin Duck locations. There's plenty of the river for you to go ahead and check out, so I'm sure that you'll have plenty of luck with those. Now then onto the red fox, which are going to be carrying on a southbound kind of trend, I suppose. Um, I find red fox all around the, the bottom part of the river as well as around the edge of the right hand side of this bottom lake as well as the two that are a little bit higher up as well. So make sure that you go ahead, check these three lakes out on the left hand side and then also go along this south part of the river as well. They can be found along there. They often tend to have quite a couple of need zones as well. Then in terms of their need zone time, it's quite easy to remember they are Seven in the evening until midnight and then from midnight until 7 a.m. So 7 till 7 essentially and then they also have 7 till 7 off so 12 hours on 12 hours off and that is where you can go ahead and find them. I was gonna do the gray fox next however there is a plains bison right in front of me so it inspired me to go ahead and do those next. They do like to roam around these four lakes right here and actually these are going to be four of the main lakes for you guys to go ahead and check out okay. I would highly recommend that one of the first outposts that you do go ahead is get open the crimson ridge. That's going to be a really crucial one. You can find all sorts of around here from from the wolves to the foxes plains bison moose as well as caribou it's a really good hotspot for them so i highly recommend that you guys always regularly check these whenever you're making your way around the map however plains bison can be found here and then another location that a lot of the plains bison like to roam around are going to be around these smaller lakes up in the upper middle section of the map as well so feel free to go ahead and walk along the path and you should be able to see them or at least hear them calling out now then exactly the same as the red foxy plains bisons are going to be running a neat own time of 7 until 7 so you can find them all throughout the day although I must admit it is 1.19 in the afternoon right now and we did just see one so I'm not too sure about what's going on there maybe it's just one of their resting zones I never include the resting zones on any of my uh, needs and times I always include the eating and the drinking because they tend to be the easiest ones to hunt um, however as you saw there are a couple of them right there as well roaming around throughout the day moving on next to the grey wolf now then the grey wolf they tend to be pretty much right along this left hand side if you go along the water bases along the left hand side you'll tend to find the gray wolves are not too far, far behind you um, so go ahead and check those out I don't find them anywhere else around the map they tend to be sort of very left hand based so it's quite easy to go ahead and figure out where they're going to be they'll often be a water source for their drinking time and you have six or seven of them along this left hand side here so check them out as you make your way from top to bottom or from bottom to top and you should be able to find them and the times that you're going to want to do that is going to be exactly the same as the last two animals it's going to be 
be from 7 in the evening until 7 in the morning. Most of these animal species do tend to roam around at night, probably because of the peace and quiet that they get. Um, less hunters out there trying to kill them, which I think is uh, an evolutionary thing. But um, yeah, so definitely make sure that you go over to that left-hand side, 7 till 7, after you've done roaming around to take out the fox and also the bison. And now we are left with just three species. We have the caribou, we have the moose, and we also have the grizzly bear. Now, in the top right corner, there is a video that I put out recently where I predicted that the grizzly bear will actually be the next great one introduced to the game. That video goes into a little bit more depth about why and the way that I got down from all of the animals in the game to the grizzly bear. So please do feel free to go ahead and check that video out. A really good one, I think, for giving you guys an indication as to my reasoning and logic behind why I think the next animal will be a grizzly bear. However, in the comment section, I always welcome your guys' answers and also your uh, own viewpoints. And I had a lot of people saying caribou, moose, Grizzly bear. There was a lot of different comments thrown in there. So thank you guys for the engagement on that However on the map right now, we're gonna go ahead and cover the caribou now then either lucky or unlucky The caribou can be found pretty much all over the map main locations are going to be similar to the harlequin duck Along this river on the right hand side here similar to the plains bison Along the smaller lakes in the middle section of the map and then also similar to the gray wolf They can also be found along the left hand lakes now I don't tend to find them in the lower left hand side. However, the upper left hand side I have quite a lot of success with them. They do also like to hang around these four center lakes, like I said, so make sure that you go ahead and check those out. And then with these, you get a little bit of a break from the 7 till 7 neat zone time because they are available from 5 a.m. until 1 p.m. And then they are also available from 5 p.m. until 9 p.m. So make sure that you go ahead, get those night vision goggles out and start doing a little bit of night hunting. Now, the next up is one of my go-to animals that I'm trying to get a diamond in. I've never been able to get myself a diamond moose. I'm currently trying to grind out for one over on my Twitch channel, which is twitch.tv forward slash Andy Wills TV. So make sure you come on over. Bit more interactive for you guys. You get me in real time and you can ask any of your Call of Wild questions. So make sure that you go ahead and jump on over there. Drop a follow while you are there as well. Um, however, the moose, I'm coming over to one of the spots that I absolutely love to find them. Again, similar to with a lot of the animals, they can be found at these four center lakes um, and the moose are definitely a dominant species around the center part of the map I think I might be slightly out of their needs in time right now however let's go ahead and cover the basics so the main locations that you are going to find them is going to be this four in a sort of lakes here and then another good location is going to be right along this bottom river as well so make sure that you go ahead check these guys check these locations out and let me know how much success you have finding them needs in times are going to be from 5 a.m. until 1 30 in the afternoon and then again from 5 p.m. until 9 p.m as well so quite a lot of the animals on this map all boasting very similar needs and time so you might be able to do batch hunting which is when you set your time to a certain animals or which is when you set your time to a time that you know a lot of the animals are out and about on the map and then you just start making your way all over through different locations different hotspots that you find and stuff and just try and take out as many as you can or even at worst what you can do is go ahead and set it up for one of the animals which you'll probably find another two species share the same needs and times with and now finally we're moving on to the animal that i think is going to be the next great one on in Call of the Wild, the animal that I absolutely love about this map being on, um, it's the grizzly bear. Now then, the grizzly bear, they are absolutely huge. Some of the best animals, in my opinion, in this game. And um, I, I love seeing all the different fur types of them as well. Whenever people post up in my Discord about them getting themselves an albino, it always makes me so happy for them. And uh, if you guys want to go ahead and get your own albino, then again, like a couple of the animals, the best place to find them is going to be along the sort of the lower section. I tend to go sort of below this bridge here on the right hand side and then the lower section of the river you can find quite a lot of grizzly locations for them um, now then i reset my game so i haven't actually opened up yukon that much so i haven't got many need zones at the minute however i'm usually littered and inundated with them uh, when i go ahead and check along this lower side of the river however the reality is they can be found from the very top all the way down and through so just have a look around and see what you can find especially if you're trying to open up a couple of harlequin duck locations there's no reason why you can't hunt for those grizzlies at the exact same time. Now then the grizzly locations that I have down have an e-zone time from 3 until 7 and then also from 7 until midnight. However I do know that I have seen grizzly bears roaming on around between 9 and 11.30 as well in the upper sections of this map, okay? Now if you go over to this uh, outpost here which is a frontier vista, you can make your way down through the mountains slowly. You can actually make your way onto the train tracks which scale high above the uh, the water sources below. Uh, you can see there we've got 
caribou and grizzly bear need zones and you can actually see them from up on the uh up on the bridge and it gives you a really good leverage point now then as you guys know i do also like to go ahead and give you all of the outpost locations for any of the reserves that you guys are watching so there they all are right now feel free to pause the video and check out the locations of those well, we are making our way on over to the bridge so i can show you guys the vantage point that i was talking about i want to talk about the guns that i run when on this map now then the guns that i use are the 22 lr which is my go-to for any class one species on the map i don't notice myself hunting the uh, the foxes all that much which class three so i tend to just run the 22 the m1 and also 300 that is my setup every time i'm out here however if you do want to go ahead and shoot the um the red foxes then please do feel free to take 243 the 223 or even something like the solikin all of them are good options and you can take out the class threes there and then as i always say i never use callers when i am hunting however there are some species on this map that do allow you to go ahead and hunt now what i would always say guys is you can see there it says the affected species now always check that to see which animals you can actually use the callers on whenever you're loading into a reserve if you do use callers when you hunt that's going to tell you immediately if it's worth using it on that map or not for the species that you're trying to hunt now then you can hear a moose calling out there just below me um and as we make our way on over here i will actually try and spot it now you've got to be very careful that you don't accidentally run off the bridge here because it is a certain death um but we've got a moose just there below us, which is a lovely level three. So we'll go ahead and let that one carry on. It's about to stay. But like I say, you can find plenty of animal species over here from moose to caribou to the harlequin ducks, as well as the grizzly bear. So it's just a really good vantage point for you to go ahead and get yourself on over to. Now, one thing that I would say is be careful because I do believe around 8 a.m. or 8.30 a.m. There is actually a train that comes across over here. And the last thing you want to do is get hit by that train. So here you have it. You can see here you've got a really good vantage point, often down on this sort of bank here you'll find caribou off in the far section some grizzly bear in the mid sections as well as in the water and then the same on the other side here you'll find a lot of grizzlies over in that right hand side the moose tend to sort of be around this area here however they will be coming into the middle section as well and then you can also catch a couple of animals off over there now you can also use it for the ducks as well the harlequin ducks however you do often find that you are getting limited because of the render distance in the game itself so do bear that in mind however guys thank you so much for watching that is going to do it for today uh, i do appreciate each and every one of you that do check these videos out and i do hope that they provide you with some really good information if they do like i say please do go ahead and like the video and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and i will catch you guys in the next one but until then thank you so very much for watching enjoy the hunt out there peace